Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you're welcome to the community. Thank you very much for subscribing. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Former Federal Commissioner for Information and South South Leader, Chief Edwin Clark, has endorsed the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, as his candidate for next month's presidential election. Clark, who is at the moment addressing journalists at his Asokoro residence in Abuja, said that with Peter Obi as president of Nigeria, he will unite the country with his move to restructure the country. According to Clark, one who must be the next president of a country must be educated, experienced, just as it says that Southeast should be allowed to produce the next president because the zone has resourced and educated people who govern the country. Clark said, and I quote, I have since been fully briefed on the successful outcome of the interaction held at that occasion. Amongst other things, I have taken note of the following observations which came out of the meeting that Pandev presented the expectations and demands of the peoples of the Niger Delta comprising infrastructural development, devolution of power, resource control, effective and inclusive participation in the oil and gas sector, among other things, to the presidential candidate, that the vision statement shared by His Excellency Peter Obi at the occasion, as it relates to making Nigeria more productive using the rich resource endowment in every part of a country, curbing waste and fighting corruption, and creating jobs for a teaming use through innovative in initiative is very commendable. That is restated commitment to restructuring and devolution of power will promote harmony, peaceful coexistence among the states and constitute parts of a country. That is vision for more equity and justice as it pertains to the South-South region, which in the past 60 years has produced much of the revenue for the national economy, but has been neglected with little impact in terms of infrastructure and social development, is convincing and commendable. Peter Obi's commitment to environmental justice, to the cleanup of the Niger Delta polluted communities, is most welcomed given that even the ongoing Ogoni cleanup has been has been rather slow its commitment to inclusion of qualified persons from the niger delta in the national governance progress in the future government if elected into power is very reassuring hmm. you guys this is a is this second or third um, endorsement that Peter Obi is bagging in just a couple of days since we entered the new year 2023. 2023 is going to be a good near year for obedience and the rest of uh, for Obi, Peter Obi and the rest of the uh, obedient you know group because hmm, Sabah Autumn has also said that if he wasn't in PDP if he, he, he wasn't a PDP governor that he would have headed peter obi's campaign committee like he would have be he would have spearheaded the campaign committee he would have gone out of his way to campaign for peter obi because he feels that peter obi is the right candidate is a is a is a president that nigeria has been waiting for you can imagine and also edwin Clark is also saying the same thing as well since i just feel that since obasanjo came out you know to speak his truth to say his mind and you know saying that Peter Obi is a candidate, Peter Obi is the right candidate for Nigeria. I feel that a lot of other people who have been bottling it up, who have been keeping quiet and, you know, trying to, you know, not want to be criticized because of their choices, 
people who have been saying, you know, trying to sit on the fence in short. They have now, you know, come out to speak their mind ever since Obasanjo. I, I am thinking that they are, they are in their mind, they are like, since Baba Obasanjo can, you know, take this bold step, why not, why not we just, you know, just voice our opinions. Last, last, we'll get criticized and people would, you know, keep quiet about it after, after some time. Let's just come out and speak our truth, say our mind. You can imagine the amount of criticism Obasanjo have gotten since they came out to say that Peter Obi is the right candidate that Nigerians should vote for. Now I imagine that people are still going to have a lot to say, especially about, you know, autumn, for about autumn, you know, picking to side with Peter Obi, saying that Peter Obi is the right candidate and if he wasn't in PDP, he would have just, you know, spared the campaign and just campaigned for Peter Obi. This shows a lot, you know. According to the letter that uh, Obasan Joe wrote, he made mention of the fact that, you know, he has seen a lot, he have heard, he has heard a lot, and he is now able to decide that Peter Obi is the right candidate that people should go for. And imagine a man in, you know, a man of that ca uh, caliber, you know, he must have heard things, he must have seen things, you know, that will make him draw that conclusion. You know, he would not. He would just not say, "Oh, okay," because the, I I know very. I'm very sure that he didn't just sit down and say, "Oh," because the youth are on Peter Obi's side. Let me go for Peter Obi. No, Obasanjo is a very diligent man, and I know that he would have done his due diligence, probably investigated. You know, spoken to a few people. You know, just investigate. You know, and I and he would have done the same thing on this on the. You know, on Tinubu uh, campaign team and on Articles campaign team as well, for him to now realize that no, this is a man that we want. You know, all these can uh, presidential candidates that we are talking about, all of them went to visit Obasanjo, and you know they had a closed door meeting as well where they sat down to discuss. You know, and where these candidates are able to tell Obasanjo that look, this is what we are ready to the country. This and this and this is what we have on ground for the Nigerian for Nigerians. And I know that Obasanjo would have, you know, been privy to a couple of informations, you know, regarding these presidential candidates that are running. And I feel that these are the things that Obasanjo thought of, you know, in making this final decision that he has finally, you know, exposed to Nigerians. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.